What is going on guys? We're back with some more Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle videos. Uh, more so discussion video than anything else. Not doing any summons or uh, boss battle. Uh, might have some game plan aside somewhere, but going to be uh, very heavy in discussion, guys. Uh, I'm joined with my boy, if you guys don't know him, the Truth DT. Uh, very awesome guy. I'm a big fan of his live stream. Big fan of his channel in general, actually. Uh, you guys should definitely check him out. Uh, Truth, what's going on, my bro? I'm doing really good, man. Thanks for having me on the channel again. And I think this is going to be a really interesting topic to discuss. Definitely, guys. And guys, if you did not, uh, definitely check him out. Link is going to be down below to his channel. I uh, highly recommend, once again, this is my live stream. is very fire. So, once again, that was very recommended. So, guys, this is going to be a discussion. Uh, somewhat of a comparison or even a versus battle between LR Gohan and LR Rose, you know, slash uh, Zamasu. Now, these units, of course, are LRs. They're top tier cards. I want to say they are for sure. Um, they hold a spot in the top five best cards currently in the game. Uh, of course, Zamasu isn't uh, on Global, so that only pertains to JP, but he'll eventually come to Global eventually. Uh, yep. So there's a big uh, there's a big debate as to who's the better LR because you have Gohan uh, he pretty much one shot everything he's a one shot king uh, he does damage out of this world his passive is completely broken I'm just gonna run through uh, real quick what the uh, units do real quick not going to go into a lot of detail but Gohan is the uh, is a, you know he brought he brought three key and ninety percent for the stats on intelligence units uh, he does have of course the colossal damage of Meg colossal damage when he gets his twelve key super and also his eighteen key super and his passive is where he's uh, somewhat broken. Getting 18% attack up per orb, not int, not rainbow, per any orb. Very good, along with one key as well per orb, so that's very good. Uh, comparing that to what Goku Black has going on, same similar leadership ability, but for tech units now. Of course, same Real thing. Real quick, Muscle, Yeah. let me jump in for one second. Mm -hmm. One thing that sometimes gets overlooked with LR Gohan is that his 18 key super he greatly raises his attack for one turn. I believe on yeah. global, the wording use is massively, but that it, it translates to a 100% attack buff for that turn, which is the same multiplier that uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks gets at his 11 key super. That's why Gohan hits out of this world when you get his 18 key super. Yeah, definitely. That, that makes a world difference, guys. Of course, Goku Black doesn't have that. He has a defensive passive where he stacks the defense when you super. Uh, depending on if you get his uh, 12 key or 18 key, he's going to super for either 3 turns or 6 turns. Uh, still very viable, but in terms of sheer damage, I think Gohan does produce way more damage than LR Goku Black could ever produce. Now, the thing about Goku Black is that he's very diverse. I'm actually going to have Truth jump in and talk about Goku Black because uh, he actually has a card. I don't, so he can definitely give you more insight on what the card can actually do. But uh, in terms of Goku Black, he does several things besides damage. Like, Gohan just sheer damage uh he can tank of course if you give him enough orbs uh even without orbs he can still summon tank because the defense is pretty high but with goku black he can tank he can heal he can do damage he has uh more than one other uh utility to him so that's why you know the debate is here to where okay well if you just want to go into a boss battle and just one shot the boss bring gohan but if you want to actually survive uh, if you want to have other perks to the car then goku black is the way to go so uh true in terms of what you think uh goku black being compared to gohan who do you think uh, has a better utility and has a better, I guess, damage output. Like, draw a comparison there for me. Well, I would say that Gohan definitely hits in a realm that Goku Black usually cannot reach. Mm -hmm. Because Gohan, it's also very easy to get Gohan's 18 key super because of his passive, which gives him that extra key. And also, the intelligence typing has many orb changers who fit extremely well on a Gogeta led. 120% team that makes it just a joke to get Gohan an 18 key super which is a big factor in this because Goku Black has a perfect linking partner in his TUR version but unfortunately a lot of people are not going to pull to Goku Black's <laughs> you know shout outs to Gaming Claw but not really anyone else this will man. get that lucky yeah yeah that was nuts but the thing about Goku Black is you can also link him with Fusion Zamasu, who does give him a lot of key, but it is still pretty difficult getting his 18 key super. You know, you do need to kind of have some support units. You know, you might need the second form perfect cell on the team. You might need the tech, you know, Super Android 17 orb changer, and you kind of have to set things up for Goku Black. Whereas LR Gohan, it is a little bit more natural just getting that insane damage output to come out. Yeah, definitely, I can definitely see what you're saying, uh, you're, uh, saying there because uh, in terms of Gohan, 
uh, he's pretty much almost guaranteed to always have his 18 key super because you know if you link him up with Ray Trunk, with Ray Trunk is a pretty pretty a typical EV card to pull because he's been in several banners. Uh, he'll yeah. also be in other banners in the future and linking him with LR Gohan is a very clutch common because uh, in Ray Trunks will trade Trunks will change Trunks will change so change in uh, for Gohan. Gohan already gets two key from his own typing orbs as is much like he gets one additional key from his passive. So my mind will almost always forever have an 18 key super light that's almost guaranteed so that is very yep. clutch uh of course goku black you know there's some situations to where he'll most likely get that but it can definitely happen to where uh, he'll struggle for key sometimes because if you look at a team now the int team is far more balanced than the tech team in my opinion i don't have lr i don't have any of these lrs actually but based on the gameplay i've seen from uh, my boy truth and other people who use lr gohan it looks like the LR Gohan team, the Int team, is way more balanced because you have a lot of orb changers. Uh, you have a lot of links uh, across the board being perfect battle. Super Saiyan, a lot of uh, links are more relevant, I, I would say. Uh, whereas if you go on a tech team, now you have Super Saiyan Street Bully, who he does fit for perfect battle, is also on Super Saiyan Rose um, and Zamasu as well. Uh, but the team has a bit of difficulty uh, by what I've seen. Uh, you can actually run the orb changer uh, Super 17, which is actually low key clutch. But I think that's uh, not exactly enough in terms of like, you know, to guarantee Rose a 18k super every single time. And that's where Goku is superior. Right, right. So, well, sorry, Gohan is superior. So, in terms of damage, I don't think anyone's going to argue that Gohan is a superior LR. In terms of all the LRs in the game, Gohan has the highest damage output, no doubt. I don't think anyone's going to question that. But in terms of utility and survivability, Rose has several other things going on for him. Of course, defense. He can tank. Uh, he can get off, I want to say, maybe two or three supers. He's tanking for double digits, easily. Like, he already has high defense. Uh, he gets 30%. I believe that's 30% uh, um, on the attack when he supers for his defense, right? Uh, I believe it's 30%, yeah. Yes, so. yes. It's it's 30% for both his 12 key and his 18 key mm -hmm. super. The difference is that it lasts for three turns with his 12 key super and six turns with his 18 key super, which once global makes the, the change that the JP version has where when a phase switches in a boss fight, those buffs remain. Once that happens, a unit like LR Goku Black once you get his 18 key super like once you know you're able to basically sustain that buff almost the entire fight because you're able to continually get at least the 12 key super so that buff is not ever going to go away and also if you look at lr goku black's link set he does have maybe the best link in the game in their big bad bosses which raises his defense by another additional 25 percent so you are quickly having his LR Goku Black's defense in crazy levels to where he will take even like 30,000 less damage from a super attack than like your average unit would. So LR Goku Black, you know, he can't take a super attack and, you know, only take double digits from it. But whereas Super Saiyan 3 Broly might super attack, you know, a regular unit and do 130,000, LR Goku Black will only take 85,000 or 90,000, which is a huge difference. Yeah, that's definitely a massive, uh, massive jump in terms of like, you know, another unit uh, taking damage versus Goku Black. Now, if you guys know anything about me, I am the biggest LR Gohan fan. Like, you'll never ever find anyone in the world who wants LR Gohan more than I do, but I am also of the opinion that Goku Black, well, LR Rose uh, in Zamasu Goku Black is better LR for two reasons. Two very important reasons that I think this unit is the best. Uh, his passive, recovering 15% HP per turn. So typically, if you have one, you're going to bring a friend. That's 30% recovery HP within two turns. Much as if you have uh, the TUR version, that's I think that's 12% there. So this guy, recovery is disgusting. You can almost know items any event easily. And also that he gets a free critical. Now, Gohan does have this advantage of having a free dodge. Dodge, in a sense, is somewhat useless. Like, yes, it can come in clutch if you dodge a super attack, but... No one's gonna, um, no one's gonna put their uh, Gohan on like a level 20 dodge or even like a 10 dodge. Like it's not gonna like help you out in terms of what damage um, from a critical or additional would do. So I feel like the uh, advantage of him being a tech unit and also healing is very, very clutch. Um, his crit his criticals, of course, can uh, break through defensive units, which Gohan cannot do if he's uh, has less critical. Of course, he can pull dupes and put a critical on him, but his natural uh, ability is not crit. So it's very hard to pull a dupe of him to put Chris in him. So in terms of just uh, being a, uh, a more viable unit, in terms of my opinion, is just, I think, in terms that he can crit, uh, he has his 15% recovery. Much as having two of them, uh, one rotation, one of the other rotations, so that's going to be 30% recovery. No items at all. So 
but yeah, like again, it's, it's a big debate back and forth. You can go with damage if you want to, but in terms of like you know just being a better LR, a, a much more well-rounded LR, having several other things to him, I think that definitely goes to uh, LR Zamasu and Goku Black, in my opinion. One thing I do really want to talk about is what you pointed out. Whereas Gohan is an intelligence unit, he gets the free dodge. Yeah. Whereas LR Goku Black gets is a tech unit and he gets the free crit. That is so underrated. People don't look at that, that enough. Intel yeah. Yes, intelligence is always at a disadvantage. Intelligence will always do less damage because, you know, strength and tech get the free crit. Agility and physical get the free double attack. So intelligence, you know, you must have dupes if you want either crits or double attacks. And the LRs, we all know how hard it is to pull these. Muscle has gone <laughs> maybe 4,000 stones on both versions without pulling him. I went 2,000 on global on LR Broly's featured banner and did not pull him. So to get a dupe of an LR is a huge task to undertake. So you really do have to factor in the free crit versus the free dodge. That is definitely a big factor yeah, here. Yeah, definitely. If you, if you guys know anything about the level 5, that equates to 10%. And based on what I've seen, like me, I have LR Broly having the free um, level 5 crit. And that goes off quite frequently, I would say, because in LR Broly case, he does double super. So it's a double chance you're going to get the critical off because if you're super in twice, you might as well call that 20% chance. Uh, whereas um, mm -hmm. LR Rose and Goku Black Case is only a, he's only attacking once, of course he doesn't have any, any additional attack mechanic. Um, but at the same time, I mean, I've been in our troops uh, live stream quite a bit, and I've seen his LR Rose crit back to back. Like, it's almost sickening. Uh, we actually have a video coming up, spoilers. Uh, it's actually a race video. <laughs> this man crit several times in that race video against me. So uh, although you might think, oh, it's only five percent, it's not really that might it's not really that uh, significant. It is very significant because it can activate when it does. It's gonna be very clutch. Um, so once again, guys, in terms of just know uh, who's the better LR, they both do different things. Uh, Gohan does have a passive that is completely broken. That one key up per orb, completely broken. No unit probably had that for a while because that is, that is currently unique to him. And um, it's probably the best passive that, in the game. Honestly, honestly. yes. Like I, I love the uh, recovery in terms of the HP because fifteen percent is uh, quite substantial. Uh, that that does. On like what I usually like to run is one Super Saiyan three Broly and then a friend LR mm -hmm. Goku Black because that really having two of the LR Goku Blacks really really balances the team to where you're healing every turn and you can block every turn since Broly has such a high drawback. But I do like having the one Super Saiyan three Broly there just to give LR Goku Black that extra little buff in the additional uh, thirty percent he would get to his stats. Yeah, yeah, definitely, I do agree. But yeah. That 15% health regen, usually in my experience, is around 30,000 health per turn that he is restoring. 30,000 every turn. Wow, that's crazy. Not to mention if you actually have another dupe being the TUR version, that's another. I believe the TUR does uh, recover. It's either 10 or 12%, which is still very substantial. Uh, that probably I believe it's 10%. 10. That's still going to equate to about 20-25% on, uh, on that lead, having around uh, 275 uh, health. So 275,000 health that is. Uh, so that's gonna be still that's still gonna be pretty substantial. Um, yes. But yeah, you know, once again, if you want to draw a proper comparison, I think Gohan does have a bit of a disadvantage being an int unit. Uh, int will always be nerfed because that dodge is not really helpful in terms of on in, on a unit who's supposed to be doing damage. Like Gohan doesn't benefit from dodge because he's made to do damage. So dodge would be put on unit like Janimba or you know LR Piccolo because they're made to tank. Uh, so I do believe that, you know, Rose is also giving a gift, you know, being tech, you know, that free critical is just clutch. You cannot go wrong with critical at all. I don't care what kind of unit it is. You'll never go wrong putting critical unit, much less them having a free ability crit. That's, that is amazing right there. Uh, much less having a well-rounded passive, you know, he, he has a nice balance of being able to heal and also damage. Uh, he does take a while to damage because I know he has to get hit, I think it was about four or five times for his um yeah he needs to get he needs to get hit four yeah. times to uh achieve his maximum yeah attack. so maybe that's a drawback that you look at you might actually look at him and say oh well i have to maybe uh tank with him to get a get an attack off but once again once the uh once the update comes to global to where super tax and passive can uh carry over to phases that's gonna be very relevant it's not gonna be an issue at all i uh, once again i mean i've seen truth using quite a few times and i've seen him have no difficulty at all having goku black's passive uh activate right there so uh honestly it the way boss fights become in the era of 120 percent, bosses are often attacking five, six, seven times per turn to where it usually will only take 
one, maybe two turns to get him up to that 120%. People do have a little bit of a misconception that it takes a long time for Goku Black to get going. And in truth, it maybe only takes one turn to get him to that max potential because it activates as soon as he is hit. So let's say you have a rotation where a boss is attacking the first slot four times. On your first turn, you put Goku Black in that first slot. As soon as he attacks, he immediately has that buff already. Yeah, yeah, I, I see what you mean, yeah. That is very clutch, guys. It really is clutch. Um, you know, he, he becomes more relevant as the game progresses because as the game progresses, of course, going to be uh, bringing out a harder boss fight, so more, more stipulations, of course. Uh, you know more health so he does get more relevant as the game progressive and so does Gohan because you know if bosses become harder you want to bring more power uh, to the team right and Gohan does fit pretty well but you know overall if you're gonna ask my opinion I believe uh, Truth is also gonna jump with me uh, saying this as well I think LR Goku Black is the better LR he just more well-rounded he has more gimmicks to him uh, he can do several things other than just damage he can tank heal and also do uh, quite a bit of damage uh, this guy can crit in the millions just casually, just casually crit in the mills. Uh, where's Gohan can yep. also casually, you know, hit in the mills, not like crit. He just hits in the mill just as is. Uh, Gohan can just start yeah. with damage. He does take a while to um, to build up his damage, uh, being LR Rose and Goku Black here. Uh, but I feel like, you know, in terms of just, you know, having fun and uh, being able to utilize your characters better, I think uh, Goku Black does have the, um, the better, well-rounded, more passive in this overall card, yeah. There's two more things I really do want to talk mm -hmm. about. One is that I believe LR Goku Black is a card that is set to age better than maybe any other unit in the game besides a unit like Super yeah. Vegito. Look at Super Vegito. The way his passive is set up doing counters, he will continue to be relevant far into the future because... Bandai makes bosses harder by making the bosses attack more and more, which means you get more and more counters by Vegito while also nullifying that damage to nil. So Vegito dishes out tons of damage while taking none. LR Goku Black, similarly, the healing and the defending will be relevant for a long time. And because of the way his percentages work, I don't see a time to where you would say like, he, you know, he's not worth it for extreme tech. Also, to add to that point, as of right now, I would say extreme tech is pretty weak. Of the the five types, and you know, you can have a super and extreme. So you basically have ten, you know, different teams you can run between the types, not counting rainbow. I would say extreme tech is maybe the worst in the game in terms of the units you can run. Whereas super intelligence is maybe the best in terms of units you can run. You know, you still get Gogeta, Rage Trunks, Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta. You know, you have multiple orb changers. You have great support units, the Gohan and Pandel. Super Intelligence is like set up perfect now, but I think more in the future, there's a chance that Extreme Tech will get a lot of love and become even better to whereas Goku Black will remain more relevant in the future possibly even than gohan will be yeah that's actually a pretty uh, interesting point you brought up because uh based on the teams like if you look at the teams like you just point out you know um with intelligence you have in gogeta uh, you have raid trunks you have um you have you know quite a few units who can change orbs uh versus the extreme tech team uh if you were to run a team you know i would say the int super team would be far better because you know the units on the team are much more well-rounded whereas the units on extreme uh extreme tech aren't exactly uh made to fit you know that team is still missing i want to say a proper uh key a uh, key supporter uh, you can actually run the second form cell, but I feel like that team does need uh, something else in terms of just uh, either another hard hitter. Uh, Broly does hit hard, but I feel like Broly does have such a big drawback that it just, it, it, like, like him dropping his defense to zero is just such a bad thing. You really can't do anything. That, and that's, that kills that card. I really hope when they bring it to global, they change that passive because that kills him so bad. Um, but what are you actually saying about the percentage passive with Goku Black covering 15%? This is actually Buhan's problem. Here covers a flat out 3,000, 3,000 health per orb. Yes. Uh, Buhan has fallen off greatly in terms of being a great healer because he cannot have a percentage passive in terms of just uh, recovery. Like let's say if he recovered 10% uh, HP per orb, that would be uh, much more viable and that would actually have a uh, better longevity in the game as opposed to his uh, current 3,000 just flat out stat uh, healing. So Definitely. his percentage Definitely. Uh, being LR Rose and Goku back to uh, percentage passive with the healing it's going to last for a long time because even though the leader uh, the leader buffs will increase, but let's say they ever bring out a 150 leader, 
eventually maybe 200% leader, you can actually still uh, run Goku Black as a viable option because he's healing percentages, not just flat out buffs. The other thing too, especially if we're talking about that boost versus, you know, the, the flat out boost versus a percentage, yeah. LR Broly loses 20,000 defense, but because of the way the percentages work, you know, buffs from the hidden potential system, LR Broly usually will not hit zero mm -hmm. defense, but because Super Saiyan 3 Broly is actually losing a percentage, oftentimes you will hit that zero, de de zero defense mark to where he takes insane damage. This is a big difference between extreme tech and super intelligence. I would personally... I think Gogeta, Intelligence Gogeta, is the best 120% leader. And I think Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly is the worst 120% leader. This comes from a man who has uh, Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Now, I actually have uh, Int Gogeta. My best team thus far is amazing. I love running that team. Uh, you one shot any event, no difficulty, no items. That is an amazing team. The synergies are fantastic. Um... Versus, you know, extreme tech that we just uh, discussed, it it definitely is lagging. Is lacking because the leader is just not that amazing. I uh, really had another gimmick. Like I don't know if he if he had like a higher chance of stun or something. Uh, so he um, didn't take damage because if he were to stun the enemy, of course he wouldn't get hit. Maybe that might help him. I'm not actually sure what they would need to do with the card to actually uh, fix him. To be honest, but uh, yeah, guys. So I think that was actually a pretty good discussion. Truth. Uh, I think we actually uh, hit all of our points. Uh, this is actually a 20 minute video, yeah, so yeah. Uh, quite a bit of material inside here. Uh, we didn't plan for it to go this long, guys, but hope you uh, stick to the end. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm recording yeah. every second, dude. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, there's a lot to talk about, guys, so we can jump on this and just kind of uh, give a half house opinion. You have to go into detail about the card. And if you're going to say one is better than the other, then you need to have a lot of facts and details to back that up. So we had to go into quite a bit of detail there. Uh, but overall, yes, please, guys, please, if you're going to leave a comment too, make sure to make points. Don't just go. You know, oh, muscle and truth, y'all are dumbasses. LR Gohan's the best. If you're going to say something like that, please elaborate your points. Tell us why you disagree. Don't just say one or the other. Actually make points. I am. I want to check the comment section. I want to see what you guys have to say about this. Yeah, definitely. Um, so once again, guys, please go ahead and check out my boy, The Truth DT. His link is down below in the description to this channel. Uh, makes great content. Phenomenal live streams. Highly recommended by me. I don't recommend a lot of people, but I do recommend him 100%, guys. Uh, he'll probably jump back on the channel uh, in the future for another type of discussion. Maybe do a collab in the future uh, if something hype drops. Uh, so be looking out for that, guys. Uh, so, bro, anything you want to say, just end us off. Muscle, thank you for having me on the channel again. It was a great time. Awesome, man. All right, guys. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Later.